Hi, welcome back to the ANS Way. It's been about three weeks since I last come out to our lot. I think about three weeks. Yeah, um, we were trying to work it out. I think it is about We'll three be able weeks. to tell when we yeah. look. And that was when the police came out and there was the whole half an hour of the police. But in the space of three weeks, look, this is our plot. It's been, well, the downstairs is great, pretty much. It looks very different to me now because I've been coming <laughs> here when it's dirt and it's looks so small. But it looks a lot larger now we're seeing this so we haven't gone in yet and we haven't actually had a look around so we're gonna go and have a look what's changed what's interesting is i'm guessing we're going to be on a very slight gradient with the um oh, yeah. driveway because now we can see actually the size of our driveway now which yeah. we haven't been able to fully tell before. the thing with woodside especially at this site or at least at this site is the driveways are quite short and the police officer that was going to move in here one of the big things he said he has quite a long truck uh, and the back would have been close to hanging out which he didn't like where we are at the moment you not only do you have the double length so you can fit a car and you then have another slab here before you get to the road whereas here it's kind of tight if you've got an f250 or an f350 but let's start as if we were going to go into the house hopefully there's nothing that we can trip over so this is our entrance way and we've mentioned in the previous videos that it's a side entrance home so this will be a gate um or door that you go through and then the entrance is actually on the side there this will be the front bedroom which they've called a casita so i guess it's not this it's a four bedroom home but really this one is a separate bedroom. There's three bedrooms yeah. upstairs and then one down here yeah, the and then the side. double garage. So. Okay, going down the side of the home. Much better idea of the space now. Yeah, and what's interesting is it seems a lot more elevated. So you know how you said about the the drive and then walking up here, it uh, seems more elevated than I expected. I don't know what I thought in terms of the position of the home to where we are parked at the moment yeah no i was saying it is yeah. more elevated so this is now the side so this would be our entrance and we haven't walked through so i haven't seen all of the writing i'm guessing depending on your home style they have listed out what you're going to have in here yeah i was thinking as well where we've made um and in the other videos we've shown the electrical options i'm guessing they would have marked out like placements of where things might end up eventually and like not on this that wouldn't make sense because the drywall has to go uh, up okay, so fine. that has to go this will only be for the building the right. structural stuff uh the drywall will go up but the electrician has a full breakdown and the height measurements so this will only be ah oh, look here you go so it's telling us bath two there's a shower in lieu of the tub so that oh, makes yes, sense they so they know and there's also no pony walls in here so it's going to be our staircase water heater which everybody's got drop in tub it's really interesting seeing it for me at least these are the two huge side windows so one of the things i remembered was even though the door that we've chosen is an upgraded door and it's only got like a slight glass bit there's two yeah. very clear side windows but the, the great thing is it's only pointing at this they don't have any windows here but anyone that walks past the house but i have to say i really love the, the side entrance one it didn't feel very narrow so in the uk sometimes you do get these side entrance type homes but that is in the uk it's very very narrow it's tiny whereas there it felt like a large space and even this feels quite large which mm. is nice Okay, carrying on from the outside, this is the downstairs toilet, or WC as they call it, and I was trying to guess when they were putting this together where it would be, and it kind of made sense with this. And then this is the living area, which looks much, much bigger now. It definitely is bizarre, the perception of when we first came and all we saw was the base of the house. And I remember both of us thought, oh, this actually looks smaller than what we thought. Obviously, we know the size of the house. We've walked through the actual model home. But now I see it, it does look right. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm guessing <laughs> for safety or maybe until it's set, they have to put these cross beams because yeah. they're only temporary. Obviously, we're not going to live with that in there. <laughs> but I noticed it on the front door yeah. as well. All right, coming around the oh, back. So this is where we see our, uh, what do they call it? I always forget. It begins with an, uh, loggia? <laughs> I a loggia. Covered lo loggia. I don't, I don't know. know how you Covered patio it. area, which is huge. So it's a lot bigger than the one that we currently have and it runs the entire length. So you can see here, starting right in the corner, 
all the way across and this bit is where Celine was hoping to have her upstairs oh, balcony area what do they call it it's not super a balcony deck. here super deck here but we've actually only got it on this side and then the backyard it's a great space it's a great space actually it's it's one of the things I had a, we both had a feeling that the size was going to be good just by when we came here and he explained and he walked it out walked through with us but it's nice now that we can actually see the back end of the house and how large it's going to be. And I will say for me and Anne, we've never been in a position where we've had a large backyard ever. <laughs> and I know in England, some people have these amazing like 100 foot gardens. And I think growing up, I had quite a large garden, large, quite large. It was quite big. Yeah. The one, yeah. yeah. So it probably was close to 100 foot, maybe a bit longer. But it's something that we always wanted when we were buying a house in the UK. And Ant loves uh, mature gardens, a lot, as big a garden as he can have. And just not something we've been able to have. So this is the largest. <laughs> something I'll add in is England, and we do get asked this periodically, depending on where we are. I've been asked it in, I think, the supermarket or grocery store. What measurements do we use? Oh, yeah. So although people think we are Europe, we're not. We're part of the continent of Europe, but we're very different. We use multiple different measuring systems. So we drive and measure our speed and distance quite often in miles. We fill up with litres <laughs> and then we measure in miles per gallon rather than litres per 100 kilometres or whatever it is. And the other thing that's really weird is we'll say, how big is your garden? A hundred feet. Yeah. But we don't measure in feet. We measure in metres and centimetres. So it can be quite confusing, I guess, because we're brought up using both. You kind of you just understand. switch between the two as and when you need. But I recognise that's not really logical overall. We are, in general, a very metric country, apart from some hangovers. This is not big to other people, but this is big to us. Yeah, this does mean we can get, you could easily fit in a workout space that comes up to here and has no impact. You could have a pool here, which has minimal impact, barbecue area. So I'm quite pleased with how big it is. It feels larger. It doesn't necessarily run as far over side to side as the one that we're currently in but no. it, it feels much deeper to me plus the fact that you've got this covered area which is an area we'll use quite a lot yeah i was thinking so and and i think Ant said this in the other video about what would we do with this space and he mentioned about having an outbuilding where we could set up our garage rather than taking up space in our garage to do that for our gym our home gym and i was a bit concerned that it wouldn't be large enough that a building would take up too much space but now yeah e easily fine. do a 10 foot uh, out building and uh, you really get to see the elevation here each home is stepped up what's that two and a half yeah. three foot um each home some of them are actually a bit big because i can see there's more bricks so they might be closer to four foot elevation each home we're gonna have to be careful just just in case No, <laughs> and I can hear it creaking as well. So this is the kitchen area, and this is going to be where the island is. And we've just gone for the standard island, but with an upgraded work surface. There isn't a, a super island that comes with all cabinets, and it's quite a bit deeper. Um, but we just went for the standard option. They wanted four thousand dollars, I think, for the upgrade. Too much. I, I, I honestly, I would have loved to have had that island option, but it to me, it just wasn't worth the money. Dining area, we've got we've gone for the 12 foot slide here. I don't think we had an option, but we were going to go for that anyway, which means it opens out to part of the kitchen, all of the dining area. So when you're eating, if it's a nice day like today, you can have this fully open. I would have preferred the slide. So if you get a fully a pocket slide, it will actually slide the doors all the way through and they sit inside each other. So it opens the whole area out. I don't particularly want to go in because I just don't know no, how secure yeah. it is. <laughs> but uh, living area, that's the hallway. The hallway is huge in comparison to what we would expect in the UK. And that upstairs doesn't quite exist yet. But it's interesting to see how much, because obviously when the homes are built, you have no idea how much gap there is between the upstairs yeah. and the downstairs. These homes are all nine foot ceilings, which is really good. Really nice to have that headroom. Yeah, it's interesting because I was trying to see like where the stairs are going to be, so you can see the cupboard for, so you can see the entrance to the garage there, where the pantry would be, 
over there and then when you come along here you can track that round so obviously the stairs which haven't been built yet will be going up there something that i'm personally looking forward to seeing because obviously now we've gone into our backyard we can actually see and appreciate what that space is like and what what's around us one of the main things about living here for me personally was the views and the mountains in, in the background as well. So I'm looking forward to when we can go upstairs and see what sort of views we actually get out the back on our deck. I think they're gonna be good because I don't know if you looked, even standing in the backyard, which is obviously a good 12 to 13 foot lower, you can see the mountains yeah, so. so you're going to be more elevated so i think it's going to be a lot better it's, it's giving me hope because i did look that's the first thing i looked at is whether i can see the mountains and you can and the front bedroom so standing here looking across to the left we can see pretty much the entire strip from the lux or in actual fact we can see the football stadium yeah. all the way down to the new one which is the con what's it called resorts world yeah so it's actually a really nice view of the strip from here so if you're in the front and i'm presuming at the front bedroom we'll get some really good views hopefully i find it interesting because we've just looked at the garage it's going to be really useful if we do get an outbuilding yeah. rather than trying to put the gym in the garage and i would really enjoy having an outbuilding that you can open up the doors oh, even know, if you've got to spend great. 20 grand it'll feel so much nicer and then you can put a portable ac unit and heat up and cool it down as as need rather than at the moment we're at the mercy of the weather so when it's really cold it's freezing <laughs> and when it's hot it can be 50 centigrade plus in there so like 120 fahrenheit um, and I, I like the garage space back That'd be nice. Yeah, because we actually, Ant definitely uses it. We've got our bikes and everything. He likes to work on cars. So we would actually make use, or I say we, Ant would actually make use of the garage space. Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of our update tour of our new home. It's exciting for us. Yeah, Hopefully definitely. it's exciting for you following along. So thanks for watching. <laughs>